All organisms convert energy from the environment into ATP, the currency of energy to do work. Energy from an environmental source drives electrons through electron transport chains, pumping ions across a membrane to form a concentration gradient and power ATP production by ATP synthase. The electrons then bind to a final acceptor, producing a waste byproduct. Phototrophs use light as a form of energy to run photosynthesis. The most commonly known phototrophs are plants, but there are also cyanobacteria, green sulfur bacteria, and purple bacteria. Each of these organisms has evolved distinct cellular structures to perform photosynthesis. Plant cells contain chloroplasts as their photosynthetic organelles. These chloroplasts contain stacks of thylakoids, photosynthetic discs, organized into grana. Along the thylakoid membrane are photosystems containing many photosynthetic pigments. Using resonance transfer, antenna pigments guide light energy toward a reaction center in the form of excitons. The excitons activate the reaction center, causing it to transfer electrons along a series of proteins in the electron transport chain, building a proton gradient between the thylakoid lumen and stroma to generate ATP. The thylakoid membrane contains two types of photosystems acting cooperatively. A water-splitting enzyme first converts water into oxygen, replacing electrons lost by photosystem 2. Upon activation, a special pair of chlorophyll in the P680 reaction center releases an electron that moves quickly away through a series of electron acceptors to reduce a quinone. This quinone dissociates from photosystem 2, diffuses into the membrane, and transfers its electron to cytochrome B6F and plastocyanin, which takes the electron to photosystem 1. This electron replaces an electron in the activated P700 reaction center of photosystem 1 that has been transported from a pair of chlorophylls down a series of proteins to ferredoxin. From here, photosynthesis may either be cyclic or non-cyclic. In cyclic electron transfer, ferredoxin returns the electron to cytochrome B6F to repeat a cycle of electron transport, generating more ATP along the way. In non-cyclic electron transfer, ferredoxin binds to NADP oxidoreductase, which transfers the electron to NADP to make NADPH. Cyanobacteria share a similar electron transfer mechanism with that of plants, but have different photosynthetic structures. Cyanobacteria have free-floating thylakoids in the chloroplast with bundles of chlorophyll called phycobilosomes dispersed along its membrane. The phycobilosomes channel light toward the reaction center to begin the same electron transfer found in plants. In the cytoplasm along green sulfur bacteria's plasma membrane are sacs encased in a lipid monolayer called chlorosomes. Chlorosomes contain bacterial chlorophyll that absorb light, transferring the energy to a protein base plate. The base plate in turn transfers energy to the reaction center where electron transfer takes place. Light energy first excites chlorophyll in the P840 reaction center. An electron travels down a series of chlorophyll to an iron protein and finally a quinone. The quinone takes the electron to a cytochrome BC1 complex. The electron then moves to cytochrome 553, which takes the electron back to the reaction center to start the process once again. Occasionally, an electron will continue down a series of iron proteins until it reaches ferredoxin. The electron would then be taken to an NAD reductase, where NAD gains an electron to become NADH. The lost electron in the cycle is replaced by splitting H2S with an H2S splitting enzyme. With the addition of four H2O molecules, H2S is converted to one sulfate molecule, and the electron is passed to cytochrome BC1. Purple bacteria do not have specific photosynthetic structures. Rather, the photosynthetic components freely float in a membranous fold. Light is absorbed into reaction center 870, causing an electron to be transferred down a series of electron acceptors to a quinone. The quinone then passes the electron to a cytochrome BC1 complex, then cytochrome C2, which finally returns the electron to the reaction center to recycle the sequence. All phototrophs share similar photosynthetic systems from the harvesting of light to the use of an electron transfer mechanism coupled with the creation of a proton gradient to synthesize ATP. However, the morphology and structural organization of the photosynthetic systems vary in complexity, creating diversity among the different organisms.